All right, this came in the mail today, and uh, I was going to start playing with it so I can get it ready to show some videos. And the stupid power connector is just a real fat pin, and uh, so it's not a standard one. I just couldn't find a fat, fat one to go in there, so I'm just going to replace it. I'm just going to put a new, uh, I'm going to put a new one in there of the right pin diameter. Um, but we can take a look inside while we're here. So what is this thing? Um, it is a Sencore Video Pro. And uh, we'll take a look at it more once I get it fixed. But um, So f there was a couple of years where I built televisions. Uh, I was building smart televisions. And um, I had to learn all about uh, video different video signals. Uh, there's S-Video and HDMI and VGA and NTSC, S-Video, blah, 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 blah. And um, so uh, my job was to calibrate the TV. Um, I was the uh, image scientist, so I would adjust the picture to look the very best. So uh, the grayscale and color and clarity and contrast and uh, sharpness and all those things. That was my responsibility. And uh, this was kind of a go-to box for, for, for the initial alignment. Uh, this would allow me to do really, really nice test patterns that I knew were um, electrically accurate. Um, and then I spent a lot of uh, other time with uh, recorded material, um, DVDs and uh, uh, materials that, that I videoed and uh, test videos that you could purchase and stuff to, to do a lot of the other things. But anyway, um, I thought this would be, oh, it's interesting that it came up. Um, I thought this would be a good um, series to do on these different formats because I think it might get lost. Um, I think, you know, what I want to do on my channel is pass along the knowledge that I have from the older generation to the newer generation. And the newer generation might, you know, a couple of years from now find something that's, you know, VGA and they go, what's VGA? What, what was that? And what was that all about? What is S videos? S video is kind of weird. What's that all about? So I'm going to, uh, try to use this box to display waveforms and describe the protocols and stuff for this stuff. And uh, maybe a little bit on, uh, calibration and things, but, um, uh, this was, this was a really, really good box. Um, and I remember when I, when I got my, my job there, uh, they handed me this box and they said, here, you'll need this. And the, 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 the most senior engineer in the group who had been doing televisions for quite a while said, yeah, if you could ever get that thing to actually program, I'll be really impressed because I've never found anybody who could actually talk to this thing. So there's, there's a serial port on this card and you can control this thing remotely. And so within a week I had MATLAB running, <laughs> controlling this thing. So he was impressed with me anyway. So let's, uh, let's replace this, uh, this stupid thing. I'm going to go ahead and apply some fresh, uh, fresh solder here. That'll make it easier to, to get the old solder out. Almost loose enough. Oops, there we go. We'll across the room. Make sure this is a good one. Yep, that's the right size. And we'll put him in. Make 
sure he is aligned. That looks good. Alright. I think you could put in uh, NICAD batteries in this thing and have it rechargeable as well. I think mine was. But I'm not going to bother with it. A little bodge wire here. You want to see this thing close up? Okay, we've got a Spartan uh, FPGA there. Uh, some other big, big LSI chips here. Uh, power. So it looks like an A to D converter or something. Probably a D to A. I would imagine. Or, or does this say input? I think it only outputs. Let's see. Let's see if I can read some uh, some chips to you. Uh, this is a PSD 81, 813F1. Uh, this one is a eighty a P80C31688. That Spartan chip's got a bunch of goo on him, so I can't I can't read him. ICS three oh seven, huh? I don't know. What are these little guys over here? Uh, weird parts. I don't know. I don't know what these things are. The analog devices part is a seven twenty five AR, and then we've got some little bitty ones over here next to the VGA. VGA connector, what are they? Oops, other way around. Uh, Three thousand and one? I don't know. I don't know. I'll let you zoom. I'll let you zoom in and take a look. So VGA connector, S video connector. NTSC and this one's the RS232 in so it doesn't do HDMI so it's pretty old school power supply section down here A little power supply section here too this must be the battery charger section here and then the regular power supply is up here next to the connector and uh, interesting, it says Quantum Data Incorporated. So, I don't know if that was the manufacturer or they just had this thing outsourced or whatever. Sencore is kind of hit or miss. Some of the Sencore stuff is really high end, really good stuff. Some of the Sencore stuff is just crap. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. This was one of their nicer ones. This is an industry standard. All right, let's put it together. Let's see if we can now apply some power to it. It says it needs 9 volts DC at 1.6 amps, probably to charge the batteries. 9 volts DC. All right. I think we can do 9 volts. Let's see here. All right. Let's see if it turns on. It does. Sencor Video Pro Model VP. Oops, went too fast. Oh, well. Um, it says battery low. Battery low. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to put batteries in it. Um, let's see here. I'm going to need to figure out how to video this thing. I think it needs to be tilted. And that's always difficult.
All right. NTSC PAL. So you can set the, uh, it's not going to operate without batteries in it. Oh man, really? Maybe I have to put batteries in it. Oh dear. Battery low. Battery low. Oh man. Test. Battery low, battery low. Okay, I guess I gotta put in some batteries. Just a second. All right, I put in some uh, uh, batteries and it says charging, so charging up the batteries. It won't work without batteries. Okay, fine. Um, so anyway, I have a little uh, monitor here. Um, it's like a backup monitor you would get for a car or something. Anyway, it's just a little, a little monitor. And uh, you can see it's displaying an image here. I can, I can change the uh, test patterns here by pushing buttons. Um, and so I need to think about how I want to teach this and what I want to go through, but we can kind of just kind of quickly go through the things here just to, just for this one video. Here's a white raster. Here's a black raster. Okay. Here's a crosshatch. Uh, regulate. I forget what that's for. I think it's something to do with power supplies. I think it's for the power supply. Um, Staircase is a step pattern. Uh, the checker. This is used. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now. <laughs> and uh, overscan. I'll have to talk about that later. And pluge. So these are all really technical things. Um, we can also go to something like staircase, and we can gate. We can we can uh, turn off red. We can turn off blue, and just look at the green channel, or we just want to look at the red channel. Uh, we can do that. So uh, when you're aligning uh, display devices, you want to make sure that they work both in black and white and in color, and they're linear in both regions. So you would measure this uh, with automatic equipment, and make sure it's completely linear. That's why you want to have it software controlled. Uh, let's see here. There are some test test items in here. Um, let's see. Test sequence. Yeah, this should look familiar. There we go. So color patterns. Each one of these is a special thing. Uh, I've forgotten a lot of them, but um, you use them for different reasons. So this is NTSC. Uh, this is NTSC-Y, so this is just a black and white version. This is PAL. So this monitor would automatically detect PAL and PAL black and white. Um, different parts of the country, you'll you either use NTSC or you'll use PAL. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of... Uh, capability in this box. It's actually quite, quite an amazing box. And uh, I need to bone up a little bit about what this thing does. And then um, what the point of the videos in the future will be is if you want to create this, how do you do that electronically, right? What, what, what are the correct, what are the correct signals to send electronically? Um, and, and what do they look like? So that will help you debug uh, monitors or uh, display devices, you know, pinball machines or video machines or something that use really old technology, uh, things like that. So, yeah, uh, should be fun. Signal type. Uh, yeah, I just need to, I need to bone up, like I said, and uh, we will, we will start, uh, start to play with this thing.